showtime. I've seen you before. You're the asshole on TV. Today we're going to be having a chat about all things Arnold's. We've got some info about the upcoming qualifiers, their events, also Australia's Strongest Man and Woman, which is not too far away. We've got a couple of special segments for you as well, but first, we're going to throw to our sponsor. Right, today's show is brought to you by the official Strongman, Cam Taylor, Signature Series, Axel Clean Belt. As you can see, state of the art, Axel Clean Belt, a nice shelf here, pop that axle up, straight up into the clean, and we'll be killing it. Once again, Fisher Strongman, Cam Taylor Signature, Axel Clean Belt. Okay, so November and December is absolutely rife with Arnold's qualifiers. They're literally everywhere. Um, there's only been a few that have already happened um, around the country. Uh, Buddha, can you just run us through the list of what's coming up? I mean, haven't got the list. Here it is. Ah, oh. <laughs> here we go. So we. <laughs> Run. Go, go this way. I'll go straight up. So we have. Oh. So we have Victoria's Strongest Man and Woman on the 3rd of November. We have the Capital Strongman Qualifier in the ACT on the 9th of November. Steel and Stone in Tasmania on the 23rd of November. Battle of the Gods at Adonis Penroof on the weekend of the 30th of November. Then in December we have South Australia's Arnold Qualifier on the 8th of December. Beasts of Burdens at Coco's Gym on the 15th of December. And something in New Exciting will be announced on the show next time. Thanks for those insights, Buddha. That's okay. So we won't go into depth on all of those qualifiers today. Uh, there's quite a few there, but we will have a look at the first three in a little bit of depth. Um, so if you're signed up to compete at one or thinking about it, probably have a listen. We're going to go through the events and you know see which ones might work out for you. Um, since we have the guy that's actually running Victoria's Strongest Man or Woman right here, uh, Aaron, did you want to give us a quick rundown on the events and? Um, how it's shaping up and what competitors and spectators need to go around. Absolutely. So look, it's a, another big event this year, big strongest. Traditionally, we've had a higher number of competitors, 50 to 60 on average each year. We've got 55 currently signed up, 25 women and uh, 30 men. So it's looking like it's going to be a very big day. Quite a bit of depth across the weight class as well. It's going to be a very competitive competition. Uh, the events, you've got the coffin carry or the standard submit version of a uh, Hussefell. It's, um, it's going to be fun. Lots of good feedback about that event so far. Uh, the overhead medley we're running, the second event is the same that we did at Victoria's Strongest in 2017. But Just it's been a fair bit heavier, right? Fair bit heavier, yeah. So basically, the under 105s are doing the heavyweights weights from that year. Yep. 90s are doing 105s and cool. scaled up that way. So it's going to be very interesting. And we're allowing the competitors to rep out on the log at the end. Sweet. Lots of happy campers with that one as well. Um, next up, Fatback Farmer Carry, which is going to be another really good, gassy, challenging event for everyone. So for those who aren't aware, Fatback Farmers, you've got to carry the implement eight meters perform three deadlift repetitions, carry another eight meters, three deadlift repetitions, carry another eight meters, three deadlift repetitions, then take them all the way back for us. Uh, 24 meter carry, no stops, ideally. So it's gonna be long. What are you uh, plate loading on this particular event? 
Potentially, potentially. So we just got to work out the field of loaders for that yeah. event. Obviously, it's a tough one. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for that insight. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. So next up, our fourth event, Circus Barbell. So lots of questions about that. So Circus Barbell press, obviously clean and press it's going to be. It's just a fixed barbell apparatus. So uh, we're going to be starting to submit 14 inch wheels that we see in various other events. It's going to be on a 29 mil power bar and they will be non-rotating ends. It's going to be a good event. So that's for max weight. It's going to be expecting some big numbers in a few of the weight classes there actually. It's going to be a really good event. And uh, final to top it off is a loading medley. So loading medley, uh, competitors are going to have to carry an atlas stone, a sandbag and a keg of all similar weights, 10 metres, load them over a bar. And am I right in saying they can choose the order or do they have to do it in a set order? No, uh, we're letting them choose the order of this one. Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of, bit of strategy in quite a few of these events actually. Yeah, cool. But uh, especially this one, being the final event, Coming down to the Good. wire, strategy is going to play a big role. I like it. Cool, and that's at the Whittlesea Show? I Correct, think? yeah. So this year we're hosting the event, the Whittlesea Show. Uh, it's their 150 or 200 year anniversary. I, I really... 160. Thanks, Buddha. Yeah, I'm glad 160. Buddha's turned up today. The 160th anniversary for them this year. It's a big show. Um, it's out in Whittlesea, obviously. Great venue, great location, plenty of space, plenty of attractions, huge crowds, um, a lot of fun. So, small entry fee for adults, I believe, and um, can be purchased on the day, but it's definitely worth it. You're not just paying to watch us, paying to go to show, rides, food, food, all the good stuff. Will the, uh, will the Gravitron be there? I can't confirm or deny, but I'm hoping so. Because what I'd like to see is directly after the loading medley, <laughs> the cash out is you've got to get on the Gravitron. <laughs> see who doesn't spew. Well look, not to give anything away, but if we do need a tiebreaker event, may or may not involve a grab <laughs> Fantastic. To be honest, I prefer the cha-cha. The cha-cha, the cha-cha. Yeah. Cha -cha. Cha -cha. Good. Cool. Is that so, loopers? Yeah. I think loopers yeah. with like, you know. The whole thing's a fucking looper, mate. Yes. In any... Oh, shit. I've just... Good. Who's a bit? This is uh, Brendan's for ACT. I've just listed them. Um, Oh. <laughs> so Will you mention yeah. any of the sponsors that are going to be at that? Joel. Tim Joel. Unless they're sponsoring this show. Yeah. They yeah. don't get a mention. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cam gets a mention. <laughs> the Cam special at least does. Yeah. Oh, well, it's just like, I don't want to look like it. Yeah, yeah, like it's. Yeah, yeah. You can it's have, I, I feel like I'm just like. No, at you the need end. a snack. I'm going with that. You can have that one for now. Yeah. It's just like, you know. Huh? Oh, you want to change? <laughs> it would be good. Yeah, change your pants. <laughs> just add them. Can you just you know, add more? It would be good. Oh, add them. Yeah. If you had had a book or something, but it, it's upside down. <laughs> it's got to be somewhere down. around here, surely. This way, I think I'll get a book. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, I had all right, thanks for that, As uh, The next on the list is the ACT qualifier. Uh, it's run by my man Brendan Lentil up at the Queen Bee and Show, I believe. Um, Actually, the thing there is I've heard that Shannon Oll might be showing up, just uh, returning a VHS set. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> well, definitely go then. That one sounds all right. Yeah. Uh, it should be a pretty cool event. So, uh, they got some... They've got some different events coming up, which is cool. They've got a yoke into a wheelbarrow medley, which is pretty sweet. Um, spent a lot of time on a wheelbarrow recently, so I could compete. But, uh, they're actually doing the Axle One Rep Max Clean and Jerk. Uh, I might be wrong on this, but I believe they're doing it on the same day, almost at the same time, that they'll actually be doing the Axle at Australia's Stronger Man, Strongest Man and Woman which would be pretty interesting to compare the numbers, I think. Uh, it could be embarrassing for a couple of the people up at uh, Bet Square if they're beaten by the qualifiers, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, they've got a car deadlift for reps, uh, a tractor pull, which is a feature of the show, which is always cool, and then they've got a stone series as well. Uh, so if any of those events look like they have your name on them, AKA you hate log and conventional deadlift, uh, head on up to the ACT and get on the car. Uh, I've been up there recently, the fuel is really expensive. Uh, you could give ScoMo a doff on the chin if you see him at 7 Eleven. Uh, I will. And there appears to be a lot of special massage places on almost every corner. So uh, make a weekend out. Yeah.
Well, I wouldn't start. A special one, so. Oh. Head on up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the new kids on the block this year in the series of qualifiers down at Art Gym in Tassie. They're holding a sto steel and stone, a test of metal contest. So if you're a Victorian and you didn't get a chance to qualify at Biggs, you missed the cut there or didn't quite make it through, a little trip down south could be on the cards there. So uh, it's a short flight, a medium boat ride, or a very challenging swim for anyone interested. Um, they're really mixing it up with the events. You've got a yoke, there's a uh, monster dumbbell, farmers, and axle medley. That is going to be a very it's interesting, interesting one. Interesting. Yeah. Um, a lot of modalities there. Deadlift into duck walk into deadlift. I oh, know the yeah, de yeah. duck walk was one of our most favourite. We events. had nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> swear to God. Love a good duck walk. No, uh, there's a strongman squad event Ooh, as well. Four up seen two. That for, yeah, it's going to be a tough one on the left shoulder. Um, then a 10 stone series. So I've been told I might not be 100% right on this either. I'm not 100% right on a lot of things, if you have a uh, This could be the longest stone run probably done in Australia. I can't think of a longer one. Yep, that's um, my knowledge either. Maybe an island game somewhere, but yeah, I can't yeah. think of one. Anyway, it should be pretty cool. Absolutely. So you jump onto over the Facebook page for more info. That's Art Gym or Steel and Stone Testament. Sweet. Find that one there. That would be the first uh, squat. Uh, squad events in Surrogate Arnold's last, uh, yeah, last year. Yeah. First time we've seen one of the qualifiers. Yeah. So just on the note of the qualifiers as well, all of the current qualifiers are listed on the Arnold Strongman Australia Facebook page and website. So you can follow them up there. All right, so you might have seen on the Stand On Submit page and the internet uh, as a whole if you're a Strongman fan, but um, our partners or our friends over in the Middle East are World's Ultimate Strongman. That is coming up at the end of next week. They've released... Uh, relief, relief. They've released... They've released their uh, pay-per-view options. They're super cheap. It's not like UFC where it's 30 bucks and you know it takes you half an hour to log on. It's $6.50 US, which is like... Ten dollars sixty-six. What, what can you get for ten dollars sixty-six? Oh, you get? Do you, you get a happy get a meal lot. for that? Do you get a happy meal for ten dollars? Uh, last time I had a happy meal was I was about three years old. So you can get a Big Mac meal for nine dollars fifty-five at least. But you can also get a lot of other things for ten dollars as well. You can get a lot for ten dollars sixty-six, but you can also get a whole year subscription for World's Ultimate Strongman. So that's the show next week. It shows that they've got coming up early next year as well. You can go into the draw for 5,000 bucks, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'd take it. Uh, so yeah, get on that. Jump on their Facebook page. They've got a link to the live stream. It's really easy. Uh, check it out. It's 20 cents a week. It's, tw it's 20 cents a week. Quick <laughs> math from Buddha over here. Yeah. I'm going to calculate that later. Oh, right. yeah. He probably already has. He probably already See has. Well, when you think about it, 50 times 20 is 1,000. So, I mean, you add in an extra two weeks, that's uh, $10.40, so it's roughly 20 cents a week. Quick man. <laughs> Quick man. We're going to see what we're going to do. That's why it's a plate loader. Yeah. <laughs> boy. Do mul multiplications of 25s, 20s, 10s, 15s. Right. And cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's have a quick chat about the ASM and ASWs on the... Oh, fuck. I was going to say the date, and I'm like, I can't see the date. So <laughs> it's not when is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll cover that for you, mate. Yeah. Alright. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You should. <laughs> Carry on. Alright, let's have a quick chat about ASM and... Alright, let's have a quick... <laughs> Oh, mate, it's two sentences. I'm right. going to take it over if you're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, Ryan needs to get the KC, bro. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's have a quick chat about Australia's strongest man and Australia's strongest woman. It's really not that far away. It's at Federation Square, right in the heart of Melbourne. Boys, this is your beast. Let's talk about it. It's going to be a big event this year. So, obviously, you mentioned Fed Square holding uh, this year's competition right in the heart of the Melbourne CBD at Federation Square. Um, big space we've got, it's gonna be held in conjunction with the National Arm Wrestling Championship, so it's gonna be a big turnout of strong people in the region on the day. Definitely a good event to get to. It's free for the public, great viewing space, can't miss it. 
great yeah. exposure to the sport. Great as well. exposure for the sport and the competitors and everything we're trying to do for the Arnold's and Australia Strongest. So, um, good bunch of events this year. So, again, being Australia Strongest, we try and keep it a bit of a showcase feature so we can get away with doing some uh, events that take a little bit longer and we've got plenty of space. So, uh, the dumbbell event, Mace, do you want to talk about the yeah, dumbbell first? Yeah, so, um, Event number one is actually on the Friday evening. Correct. Um, yep. So we'll do like uh, athlete briefing and then we'll do the first event. We're calling it the Heavy Side Series. It's a uh, collection of eight fat handle dumbbells, uh, ranging from 28 kilos all the way through to 78 kilos. They needed to be loaded onto a 40 centimeter block, one hand only obviously. Uh, all the athletes will get those rules, but it's pretty challenging. It's, uh, it's a grip event but it's not sort of a standard farmer's carry grip, it's uh, specifically fat handle work. Um, it's something that people might not have done a lot of unless they're a sort of a grip enthusiast. So Stan of Cement's come up with this little guy. Uh, it's, a ch <laughs> it's, it's a cheap way to train the event. Uh, the main reason I wanted to pop it on the table was just if you're training it at home, be aware that uh, it's great to help out and it's the same thickness as the dumbbell but keep in mind that your plates can actually still rotate whereas the dumbbells on the day don't so yeah they're a fixed weight it's a solid steel dumbbell so just keep that in mind if possible keep your plates locked on it like tape them on lock them on with collars I don't care but that's a, a better way to simulate those dumbbells but should be a cool event um, the guys and the girls are all on the same set of dumbbells, which is pretty sweet. Um, and yeah, let's see who can get through it, and if they can get through it, who can get through it the quickest. Yeah, it's going to be a few good, good grip uh, enthusiasts. enthusiasts coming up this comp, so I'm looking forward to see how we go. Okay. Second event, so day two we kick off uh, with Max Axel deadlift. Sorry, not Axel no, deadlift. No, it's the overhead. Overhead. Max Axel overhead first up. So. Um, it's been a while since there's been one of these done in a large competition like this in the country, so we're expecting to see some good numbers. Um, the ladies have been putting up some big numbers in this one. Definitely expect something big from them. And the guys, some of the strongest presses in the country will be there. It's going to be one to watch. Um, keep your eyes on that event. So second event, uh, deadlifts, reps to max. So. Or yeah, so the way this works is uh, it's similar to the silver dollar one we did at Arnold's a few years ago. Uh, weights are slightly different. Basically, the axle will be set up at the base weight. Um, I can't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but let's just say it starts at 200 Heavy. kilos. Heavy. Uh, the athlete will complete one rep. Uh, they'll get a successful rep. It'll be put down. Loaders will add 10 kilos in total for girls and 20 kilos in total for guys. Correct. Uh, to the bar, they'll rep again. They'll do that four times four times and then they'll have the remainder of the time to rep out at that max weight. So deadlifters that aren't as strong will be looking to post a pretty uh, big lift and the strong deadlifters should blitz through those first numbers and then rep out on the axle for the remainder of the time. Yeah. On today's segment we have an ex-prison guard who also lifts things. Rowan Dewey's. So you are widely considered as one of the top under 90 competitors in the country. Does that, does it motivate you to know that no one really gives a shit about the under 90s? No, I'm at least I've got an under 80 so. So you recently completed a charity wheelbarrow event to raise awareness for mental health uh, and suicide. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so, um, uh, that's great, yeah. You have recently started some online coaching um, with strong men and strong women. Yep. How's that going? Uh, Are you going to do some selling of isogenics as well? Uh, no? <laughs> Despite them being what? It's water. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Despite the big weight in in front of everyone, you've been accused of loading fake 200 kilo stones in training videos. Have you considered faking your log max as well? Um, I probably should. 
are you planning to lose the fathers at Vic Strongest this year and get beaten by another 80 overall? Uh, it's not in the plan, but it could happen. <laughs> Alright, thanks for coming in everyone. Uh, Rain Dweese. Next up, event number four will be our loading medley. So, um, being a fed square and outdoor event, we've got plenty of space. It's going to be a mixed distance carry, so there'll be four implements they'll be carrying. Um, I've been getting bombarded with questions, namely by a few people in Queensland. <laughs> One of them, under 90 kilo competitor in particular. I still don't know, so we'll Sorry. get there. Um, the implements will be a stone which will be carried a few metres. Round stone. Round, round stone, yeah, round. Not, not a natural. Not a natural, round stone. A few metres. Second implement will be a log, which is going to be a big log or a chunk of the tree that Mason's going to chop down and we'll have there somewhere. Legally, Fine. of course. Fine, yes. Legally. Yes, legally. Uh, third <coughs> implement is going to be a sandbag. It will be heavy. It will be, for the guys, literally the largest one that we can get. It's big. Ladies, it will be up there with it. Fourth will be a tyre. Think tractor tyre. So it's going to be Think. tough. Think. Not, not just heavy, but awkward to not only carry, but then load onto yeah. the platform. 1.2 or possibly even a little bit lower. Uh, approximately 1.2. Yeah. Just, just got to work with the space. That we've work got. with the space we've got there. So they'll all be carried from a different distance. The closest to the stone, next up the log, further away the sandbag further away again, the tire. So that'll summarise that one. Our fifth event, log for reps. So our competitors will be lifting some brand new logs we've had made up for this event. Some uh, beautiful wooden logs, which are uh, over here in the background. We're gonna get some images of those uh, with one of our special segments mm. soon, I believe, as well. Yep, good. Uh, competitors will be performing those for reps. So the guys, 150 kilos for reps, and the gals gonna be around about 80 kilos for reps. Maybe give or take a kilo there, just depending on the final weight of the logs that, when they come in. Um, so again, very strong presses both sides here. So this is going to be a place where people can make up some points or extend some big, big numbers there with the reps. And one hot minute. That one hot minute, absolutely. So our final event there at this year's competition is going to be the Max Atlas Stone. So pretty big buying numbers here for the competitors. Yeah, look, we, um, it was partly, you know, it's Australia's strongest man and woman. Uh, we can't be starting off at like 50 kilos and nah. uh, 150 kilos for guys. So uh, pretty high buying weights. I also didn't want to bring literally 10 tons of stones uh, to the middle of Melbourne. Um, the bridge might not actually hold up to all that weight. Yeah, so if that, yeah. The um, section we're on is not above the Flinders Street tunnels. As cool as it would be to see a stone Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're not, not, not on our time. No. Not on our time. But I'd prefer to bring some heavier stones so that you know some of the guys can battle it out between 200 and north. You know, we'd love to see a new national record. Um, same for the girls as well. You know, there's a few yep. people that are putting up 140. Uh, we'd love to see a 150, 155 possibly. What's your heaviest so, stone that you're going to be? Playing? I have a 230 kilo Ooh. stone. I have a 225. I have a 220, 215, a 210, 205. I've got a 213 that weighs 200 as well. <laughs> we won't bring that one. So that stone. should be cool. That should be a really good event, I think. Uh, yeah. Max Stone, haven't seen it done in ever. Here. It's been a long time. It's been a long time, at least. Yeah. At least so. right. it should, be, should be good. So yeah, that's our 8th and 9th of November. The 8th being the Friday night. Events going to take place approximately 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. We'll have the exact time soon, but if you aim for 6, might start a little bit later, won't be starting any earlier. Uh, event's going to kick off 10 a.m. on Saturday. We're going to run through right till 6 p.m. Then have presentations afterward. Right in the heart of Melbourne, Fed Square. Plenty of food and beverages around as well. Easy to access. Exactly. Yeah. Cool.